Oh, hello guys. How are you? I have been receiving questions uh, about how do I set up my camera every time I do a riding video. So, this video is for you. Alright? So, this is what I use. I use a GoPro Hero HD. And as you can see the price, it's $300. If you want a cheaper one, get the regular GoPro, uh, the non-HD GoPro. And the price I believe is $200, 180 dollars $190, i am not sure. But one thing is for sure, it's cheaper compared to the HD. So it's your call, it's your choice. Alright, so what do we have in the box? Here. The manual The audio video cable The standard audio video cable Well anyway, this is for the HD video and audio cable this is for the standard video. We have all the mounting brackets, adhesive tapes that we need for our camera or for our GoPro to be set up correctly so everything here is in the bag all right and of course hold on here the suction cup and the GoPro itself here And of course the case, the, the, the transparent clear case, alright, so every time I want a frontal shot or a frontal view, uh, I use the suction cup and this is how I do it, I put it or I mount the suction on the tank or on the gas tank of the bike so here's how I do it all the adjustments simple so now I have a frontal shot another good thing is uh, the instrumentational panel of the bike can be captured by the camera including your speed the gear or at what gear you are the RPM so if you will ask me personally this is my favorite view alright simple and then, if I want to shoot myself, uh, I just put the suction cup on here. So now, the camera is facing towards me or towards the rider. Simple, easy. There you go simple setup all right so another option that you have apart from using the suction cup you can use this thing all you need to do is to pull this red thing plastic out of the way and what you have or what we have 
here is a 3M tape so you can stick it wherever you want stick it here on the fender on the side of the fairing it's up to you it's your call it's your choice but if you will ask me personally I don't like it because I don't wanna stick this thing on my bike it's gonna mess up the appearance of your bike right don't you agree so as much as possible I want to use the suction cup because this thing will ruin the appearance of your bike so it's your call it's your choice Right, so as you can see here, I put one adhesive tape on the left side of my helmet. Here, come closer. Alright, so I will put the GoPro here. Hold on, let me demonstrate. Alright, so you need to put the mounting hardware which is included in the box, in the package. Put the GoPro into the mounting hardware. Alright, so, so this is how I set up my GoPro HD. On the side of my helmet or if not, on the top of my helmet. Like this or like this. So it's very damn simple. All you need to do, like I said, is to get the mounting bracket for this kind of setup. Now that mounting bracket is included in the box or in the package. And that's it. Simple. All right. So now, let's talk about setting your camera when you record the video. My advice is do not set up your GoPro HD at 1080p. Me personally, I use the 720p format at 60fps or 60 frames per second. Because 720p at 60 frames per second is designed for a moving object or for a moving subject all right so take it from me as an advice like i said 720p is the ideal setting every time you record a video all right and also another thing if you will ask me personally i like or i choose the 69 widescreen format well we all have different taste I don't know about you but I don't like watching a video that has a border you know what I mean 69 widescreen format when you watch it on YouTube the whole screen on YouTube is covered if you will set up your GoPro HD at 4.3 letterbox when you upload the video on YouTube uh, you will notice or you will see that there are two borders on the left side and then on the right side of the video it's not white you know what I mean you follow right so me personally I like a 69 widescreen format alright so 720p at 60 FPS using a 69 widescreen format that's the way it should be alright thanks for watching